use a box okay and uh, I'm gonna jump between these controls uh, W is shortcut for move E is shortcut for rotate R is uh, scale uh, well, that's probably all we'll need here. Q is for just selecting. Alright, so we got that. I'm going to make sure this box is 20, 20. Jump between these by hitting tab. Let's make this a different color so it's viewable. Okay, we can see it all viewports. All right, now if you hit Z, it squares everything up or fits it to frame, I guess. All right, good. So, I'm going to right click, edit poly. I'm going to. So there's not much to be said for the creation. That's why I usually just speed through it. Alright, so now we have our basic arrow. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to turn on my snap rotate. 90. Uh, front. Well, maybe we should have done it the other way. I'm going to keep it together. 90. Okay, good. I hit Z again. And now what I want to do is select everything. Control A. I'm going to hit F2. And I'm going to tessellate this bastard. Oh. That should be good for our purpose. We don't really need it too intricate. Hit M on my keyboard to bring up uh, my material. I'm just going to hit this button here. That means add the material to selected object. Close that. I'm sorry. Usually I have I have a really nice Logitech mouse MX thing, and it has a bunch of buttons, and I've set each button to do something different, but I'm avoiding that now so I can show you the buttons you have to hit. And a couple of these buttons... Uh, will toggle Camtasia options that I don't want right now so uh, we'll keep everything the long way okay good so we have our arrow and what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm going to alt W makes the screen full size going to grab all these and delete cap it just eliminates a couple extra pops we don't really need I guess we could do that to this side too. I always try to stay uh, pretty clean with these uh, types of things. All 
very good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add, or we're, we're going to animate it like it's uh, crawling or, you know, moving in some way. So we're going to add a stretch modifier. And we'll go, uh, we'll start with a point two. We want to auto key and make sure it's a, uh, it's on uh, this one at the bottom there. I don't know. I moved to 10. Negative two. So it bunches up. Grab this keyframe down here. Hold down. 20 so we have a duplicate of the first one <clears throat> okay good so that's what we got we have a uh, that's all we need so now with this selected we can I would right click and go to curve editor or you can grab it up here And you want to uh, navigate to shit. You know what? All right, let's rename this. I forgot. Being sloppy here. Uh, we'll call it base arrow. Curve editor again. Now we find our base arrow. Modify object. Stretch. These are our stretch keyframes here. What we want to do is click on this. This is out of range type. Um, this controls how our animation will go. Before we show you that, um, it's important to note that this, I mean, you can control all the ease, things, like super ease in and out of. You can do whatever you want with that. All right. So anyway, as we select, if I select this frame in here, this keyframe, it highlights down here as well. Uh, vice versa. If I grab these three, now all three in here are lit up. So we want to make sure that all three are lit up, and we want to make sure that the in and out are in the loop parameter. I see it goes on forever now. Now, if we were to... But as for now, we want to keep it that way. The dotted line represents the forever looping. So we can close that. And now, although our keyframes are 0 to 20, it continues on. And it will go on forever. If we go to, we set the last frame to be 1,000, it will be 1,000. You can just have it go forever. As it is, we'll set this to three. <clears throat> All right. And uh, that's it for the arrow creation, really. Uh, the next part, I'll be showing you how to. Uh, set up the scene and layers so let's go ahead to that part now <clears throat> 